Zoax.net Lesson 32 Base64 Images To put an image in an HTML document, we ordinarily need to set the source attribute to a file name on the local file system or a remote URL. In this example, we have set the source to a file named small x 9x9. If we open this document, we see the image file open in the browser. The image contains the small red x shown here. This image was chosen deliberately to be small to make it more convenient for encoding in Base64. This may seem a bit odd. However, instead of using a file name as the source for an image, we can use a Base64 encoding as we do in this example. This long line of text in the source attribute is actually all of the image data encoded as a string. This is why the image is so small. If it were larger, the string would be much longer, as we will see in some of our other examples. Opening this document, we see the exact same image that we had in the previous example. You might be wondering why we would want a Base64 image. Base64 images can be stored directly inside the HTML document, and this means that no external file is required. There are some technical advantages to this. The main disadvantage is that Base64 encoding increases the image size by one-third. To understand what Base64 means, we will look at some other number bases. We remark that ordinary decimal numbers are Base10 because there are 10 possible values for each digit. Additionally, there are several number bases that are commonly used in computer programming. The fundamental number base of a computer is 2, which is binary with digits that are 0 and 1. Octal, or base 8, is another number base that is used in computers, where digits can be anything between 0 and 7. Hexadecimal, or base 16, is another commonly used number base. In hexadecimal, digits can take on 16 different values, the numbers 0 through 9, and then the letters A through F for the values 10 through 15. Finally, Base64 is used for the Base64 encoding that we have seen. In Base64, digits are encoded with uppercase letters, then lowercase letters, then the numerical digits 0 through 9, with the last two digit values encoded as plus and slash. This gives us 26 plus 26 plus 10 plus 2, which equals 64 possibilities. A full table of the Base64 characters is on our website and it looks like this. This table shows the translation between decimal, hexadecimal, and base64. The characters under the code heading are the base64 characters. Now when we represent an image in base64, as we show here with our prior image encoding, you might notice that some of the first characters are not base64 characters, like the comma and the semicolon. In fact, this text up to the comma is all a header to signal that this is a Base64 encoding. If we strip off the header characters and save the rest as a text file, we can check its properties and see that it is 288 bytes. If we look at the properties of our original image, it is 216 bytes. If we multiply 216 by 4 thirds, we get 288. Just as we said before, the image size is increased by a third. It is not too difficult to understand why. Each base64 character is encoded in the text file in ASCII, so it requires a byte or 8 bits to represent it. However, a base64 digit can only encode 64 values or 6 bits. So 8 bits are required to encode 6 bits of data. That accounts for the one-third increase in size. While we're on the subject of size, we should remark that images grow considerably as they get larger. To demonstrate this, we will use this image encoding program that I wrote to show you the encoding of a few images. Since this program is written in JavaScript, I will not explain it here, but I will put it on our lesson page at zoax.net so that you can get it for yourself if you want to create Base64 images. Opening this program in the browser, we see this. If we click the Choose File button and select an image file to encode, we see the image with the Base64 encoding below it. Now if you want to use a Base64 encoded version of the image, 
Just select this entire line of text and paste it into the source attribute for your image, as we did in our earlier example shown here. As mentioned before, image data grows rapidly as the image size increases. For example, the base64 encoding of this 140 by 25 pixel logo image takes up almost this entire window. If we use a version that is double the width and height, or 280 by 50 pixels, then the encoding is much larger, as this scroll bar indicates. Despite these larger encoding sizes, you can still select, copy, and paste the text as the source of an image, just as we did before. One thing that you might have noticed and wondered about is the two equal signs at the end of this previous base64 encoding. If you are wondering why equal signs are there when they are not base64 characters, the answer is that they are filler characters which encode nothing. These equal signs appear at the end in order to fill the encoding string up to an even multiple of 4 bytes. We will not go into why they do that, but that explains why the equal signs appear there.